Hello everyone, Ron again, and in this video we're going to talk about trans gates. Action! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So what a trans gate is, is similar to a side chain that makes something duck in response to something else. If you look at the reverb videos I made, reverb 1 and reverb 2, that idea is explained in the reverb context and sidechain compression specifically is explained in the second video and it's shown how you do it there. So one way that sidechain compression is used is in trance music and other EDM to make the entire beat duck so that the kick drum will be more pronounced. So we're gonna look at that idea using gross beat using a sound I designed in Citrus. And basically what gross beat does is it modulates volume or gain in different ways. You can customize your own presets and there's a time envelope which makes it buffer and it goes back to an earlier point similar to studded edit too. But it doesn't have the multi effects. It just does these two things. It can make something buffer so it sounds like it's glitching. It can reverse a sound. Gross beat is actually pretty cool. And at the same time, it can automate the volume envelope. And you can switch it with presets by attaching it to a MIDI keyboard so that you can create automation that changes over time. So we're gonna look at that idea in context of how you would create rhythm and I'm just going to use the standard preset that is here with the sound that I made and the sound sustains. So this idea is one that you would use on a sustaining sound like violins, in this case a synthesizer, maybe a flute, that might be cool. But let's get into it. So as I click around, there are different patterns and volume shapes. And this is not too complicated to explain or understand. It's simply a matter of either choosing the one you like or making one that you like. Here we go. Here's the audio example. I'm going to click through the different ones while the sustaining sound is playing, but I'm going to let you hear it first for at least one measure. And then you're going to see how it's going to change as I click the different presets in gross beat. And if you were stuck trying to make a rhythm, but you had sounds that sustain or even just a basic saw wave, any type of sustaining sound, then you could use these to get an idea for what you want to hear and possibly just make a drum loop that does something similar or even keep the synthesizer or the other sustaining sound just adding its own rhythmic element, which would technically be a melody, but a melody is a rhythm that changes pitch. You could look at it that way. Or it doesn't. You know, it could just be something that's played on an instrument that can sustain. It's context, really, because you expect a melody to be played on an instrument like a piano or like a flute or violin that will usually change pitch. But a melody still is a rhythm. So we're going to get into that now. Check it out.
So as you can see, there's a lot of creative things that you can do using a plugin like Gross Beat. And you could also use a plugin like Starter Edit 2, where you can do the same. And I made a video about Starter Edit 2 a while back, so I'm not going to talk about it much again. It does much of the same thing, where you can buffer, you can make the audio glitch, and that can be useful to create rhythms. And Starter Edit 2 is more diverse about it. But Starter Edit 2 is not native to FL Studio. So if you have FL Studio, then Gross Beat is already an option. Or even if you don't, I think. I think maybe you can buy Gross Beat separately. I'm not really sure about that. I went and checked, and you do buy it separately. But it says that you can also use it outside of FL Studio. So that was smart on their part. In any case, if you made it this far and you stuck through the whole video, I thank you for watching. It was a really short lesson, very simple and straight to the point. You can use anything that automates using buffering to create rhythms, especially when you get stuck. You could just add something like that or for a cool effect, because if you notice in Gross Beat, it has this preset that's named sidechain because that is what the sounds in EDM music will do the way they sidechain them. They'll duck. And so that is one of the ways that sidechaining is most prominently used and well known for. And with that being said, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I thank you for watching. And as usual, have an awesome day. Peace.